That a girl, Tabitha. You talk to yourself in that mirror, which is what you always do in all of these mirrors. So many mirrors. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Stephen Plays The Sims. So last episode was a bit of a humdinger, huh? We had a really great party. Uh, Blair's father uh, passed away in a terrible fire accident, and Blair was really excited about how great the party was. Hey, my dad passed away in a fire, but you know what? It was a good time. It was kind of weird that you just have furniture out on your lawn, but I'm not going to judge. Uh, there's been a lot of people talking about, man, this thing is getting crazy. Really crazy. In fact, maybe pulling it back down to Earth would be a good move. I completely agree. Uh, I think that the insane factor is fun, but if we go too far off the deep end, then absolutely, uh, we will have a hard time getting it, uh, getting it back under control. Also, then the insanity would become boring, and uh, that's not what we want. So, I'm introducing a new sim today. A new sim who I think uh, brings some interesting factors to this family, and also who is going to be able to help clean up this mess with your help. But first, let's jump to create a sim. All right, now this was actually recommended several episodes ago, but I wrote it down because I liked the idea so much. I'm going to be altering it a little bit, but this is from John Duffy, and John writes, uh, Unbeknownst to the schnobs, Franklin's old college roommate is on his way to town. Franklin dropped out of college one month in. Frank's roommate Jerry is stuck in the 60s era of his life. He dresses like a hippie and he acts like one too. He's a vegetarian and a technophobe. He's a hopeless romantic and is quite handy around the house. The only thing he and Frank have in common is their love of the outdoors. Jerry shows up and immediately fixes their broken toilet, and you can kind of figure out where this was listed in the series. They don't have a toilet anymore, but we'll get to why uh, Jerry's going to be so important. Uh, Jerry needs a place to stay uh, because his house burned down, but, and this is, th this is why he's so important, his insurance gave him plenty of cash. Uh, which he is going to use to uh, build up the schnob's home once again. The unfortunate thing is that Frank can't remember who this Jerry guy is. So we're going to be making Jerry today. So I am going to make Jerry... If Jerry was his college roommate, Jerry is probably also old, but let's see. Let's do Jerry... Uh, how about Gunther? Jerry Gunther, that's a good name. Uh, let's make... Let's see. Let's make let's make Jerry a black dude. I guess he should be an elder because he was in college yeah. with Frank. So he it makes sense to me that he would be an elderly dude. All right. So he can be he can be a scrawny guy. The important thing about Jerry is that Jerry's bringing some money to the household, and we're going to get to that uh, in a minute. Let's work on his uh, appearance. So this wasn't really set. So we can play around with whatever we want. Uh, I imagine that his hair is probably decreasing. Maybe his ma you look a l you look really nice and young there. You look fantastic. Maybe we should leave that just like it is. We could also play around with the random options. That's one thing we haven't really done with uh, creating Sims so far in the game. But there is uh, some randomizers. Aw, poor Jerry. <laughs> Maybe in his house fire, his his eyebrows got burned off. Uh, okay, there we go. We've added to the lore. His eyelashes are gone. It's uh, It was a terrible house fire. I think it actually says why. It doesn't say why. It says, his house burned down because that's what happened when you light a dozen candles and leave them lit overnight. Thank you, John Duffy, for uh, writing in the little backstory of what happened to Jerry. So this is actually going to be... Uh, this is going to be pretty similar to... Um, you know, if he's a hippie, he should... Maybe see if there's, like, more of a hippie-type hair. This is, this is I think, is okay. Um, how about this? I like that. <laughs> Although, this might be more fun. You're a little too old to be rocking this look, but I think I'm going to let you keep it. Um, this is going to be similar to the, the situation with Guinevere, because, um, you know, Guinevere also needed a place to stay, and she moved in with the schnobs, and uh, Jerry's going to be doing the same thing. Uh, Alright, so let's see. Uh, head and ears. Let's just pick a, a face shape for you here. That looks good. That's Jerry. That's the Jerry I know and love. <laughs> Not trusting. That's a good look. I like that. Um, how about you have green eyes? And what kind of nose are we going to give old Jerry? That's a big nose. I don't imagine Jerry with a gigantic nose. That looks alright. Alright. Mouth. Uh, what kind of lips should we give Jerry? Tiny 
parched lips. Parched? <laughs> Jerry's so thirsty. Jerry only desires a drink. Uh, seems good. Freckles, age detail. He's old. We should probably let him appear as if he's old. Although, at the same time, maybe... Maybe he stayed in pretty good shape because, uh, you know, he's kept up with his body and he's, um... He don't need a tattoo. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. imagine Jerry having it. Well, although he's a hippie, right? So he should... Maybe he should... Oh, where's his back? Is this the back? This is the back. Let's... Can we make this thing, like, freaking huge? We make it really funny colored and then be really gigantic? Yeah! Okay. I, I kind of... I like that. I like that, actually, a lot. Um, in fact, let's make it... Let's make it yellow and red and red oh god that's <laughs> maybe too much red oh that looks sweet jerry that's a sweet tattoo i like what you've done with it <laughs> i got that back in 35 all right uh all right let's go back to clothing uh what are you gonna be wearing jerry so jerry is a hippie he uh dresses like a hippie and acts like one too so we need to give him hippie clothes which could be kind of difficult. Let's see here. What would a hippie wear? A hippie will wear something really crazy and outlandish. Fun colors. Not... Not a suit like that. Um, why don't we go to a top? And give him something... <coughs> oh man, I have an idea. Why don't we take this? And then make the colors something that does not make sense. Uh, that would actually... I think that would work really well. So this is this is not a single color. This is a pattern. Oh my lord! <laughs> uh, this is this has less to do with being a hippie and more to do with just being really tacky. Um, but I really love the look of this. Oh my god, it's fantastic! Uh, wow, wow. Is this grass? Pretty sure that's just grass. Uh, let's go to. Let's see. There's abstract stuff in here. Uh, something dark to contrast well. Or that. Ugh, God. Man, that's... That's... That's really hideous. Uh, why don't we do... <laughs> Stone. Uh, let's do... F uh, fabric. And something... Uh, the pink's not really working for me. Let's do... Let's do that, but then let's do something like blue. Yeah! Yeah! That looks... I can't say it looks nice, that would be a lie, but that looks... That looks cool. I actually kind of like that. I don't think that's something I would wear. I think it looks nice. So you... Okay, that doesn't match at all. We gotta fix you up, buddy. We're gonna make you... We're gonna make you work. Bell-bottom jeans. Um, let's, we'll do that, and then we'll do some boots with the fur. Uh, you need... What do you... Uh, okay, how about leather? Leather pants. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's nice. There we go. Yeah, that's uh, that's something. I'm assuming that's affecting the belt, which we can't actually see. That's fine. All right. Uh, so that's that's your look. You're looking snazzy. What do you wear? You wear flip flops. Or no, you're barefoot. Yeah, you're barefoot. You don't believe in shoes. <laughs> you don't need no shoes. All right. Uh, what do you wear on your face? Do you wear glasses? I don't think you need glasses. I'm going to I'm going to remove your glasses and give you something else. Um, oh, maybe you wear shades because you're just you're really cool. You're like, yeah, I'm cool. I like it. I kind of like it. Um, let's give you let's give you a little ear stud there, and oh, he could wear socks. That is <laughs> okay. I like him better barefoot. That's really awful looking. All right, seems good. Um, so that's his everyday wear, which is a little frightening. He's also wearing a watch. I don't, there's the watch. I don't know which watch he has on. Um, it's zooming into the wrong hand. There we go. Uh, okay, we'll give him a black watch. Um, <laughs> and gloves. <laughs> Jerry loves to wear those gloves. It makes him look a little you bit like a murderer, but we're gonna pretend we, we don't, we don't know anything about that. Formal. Formal wear. Jerry's formal wear. Uh, he dresses up nicely. Gets himself a little suit, and, uh, how about... It doesn't doesn't really match, Jerry. Uh, let's let's help you out. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to help out. That uh, that looks a little better. We'll go with that. Jerry still refuses to wear shoes, though. Shoes are not for Jerry. That's not his thing. Uh, sleepwear. I like that. I think that's pretty uh, simple. Maybe he has a maybe he has a favorite color. Maybe it's like maybe his favorite color is yellow, like the sun, because he's a hippie. There we go. Nice yellow. Uh, 
tidy whities We can leave them uh, white. And they're not tidy whities They're boxers. Uh, athletic. Your athletic gear. Let's put you in this top. Uh, let's make that yellow as well. I kind of like the idea of almost theming him yellow. Let's do yellow and red. That actually looks good. I, I feel like I, <laughs> I feel like I did a pretty good job with that. It looks like something I'd buy at the store. Uh, bottoms. Not really, not really with it, Jerry. Um, let's give you some shorts. Uh, those look nice, but let's make it look worse. How about uh, really bright orange shorts? Fantastic. Still no shoes. Jerry does not believe in shoes. Uh, and swimwear. Okay, for swimwear, we want to be able to see that tattoo. Jerry's a cool dude. Uh, he's rocking them, them orange pants. We can let him keep those and no shoes. That seems good. All right, and now the most important thing of all, as always, is personality. So let's take a look at these traits. Now, uh, he shares a love for the outdoors with Frank. So, do-do-do-do-do. Loves the outdoors. All right. Uh, but also... He's a hippie, and I don't think that's a thing that we can... That's not a trait we can give him, but uh, he's a vegetarian. We'll give him a vegetarian. He's a technophobe. Technophobe. He's also a hopeless romantic. Hopeless romantic. So they've actually uh, listed a bunch of things. Let's see. Acts like one. A vegetarian, a technophobe, hopeless romantic, quite handy around the house. So, handyman. Is that a thing? Handy. There we go. Those are his traits. So he's all set. Now, his lifetime wish... Golden Tongue, Golden Fingers, Master Charisma and Guitar, Master Writing and Painting, have 50,000 simoleons in household funds. Uh, he's going to do that, because as soon as we get him into the household, we're going to be able to cheat and give him as much money as we need. So, maybe his lifetime wish is already fulfilled. That'd be kind of interesting. Master the Logic Skill, become a Grandmaster in Chest, and reach level 10 with 10. Okay, let's just uh, do Swimming and Cash. I'm kind of curious how that's going to work if we uh, just give him the, the money. Alright, so his favorite food... Uh, we made him a vegetarian, so it automatically went to... Automatically went to cheese steak. Oh, these are all just vegetarian meals. Um, hmm. Ratatouille, cobbler, cookies, key lime pie, veggie burger. That's pre pretty simple. Loves electronica. I like that. Uh, his favorite color we've already said is yellow. Uh, let's give him a voice. Yapso, simshi wani do. Ebly condoroy. Deepa haduda crud. I like that one. Oh, broads. Ho ho, Rawson. He's got. A, I, I think I'm gonna actually give him a higher voice, though. Let it oh, yeah, I can get behind that. Astrological sign, pretty relevant to me. I'm gonna make him a Pisces. All right. Uh, that is Jerry. I mean, he's in his swimwear, but that's Jerry. <laughs> Otherwise, fantastic, Jerry Gunther. All right, go ahead and accept that. Looking that's good, Jerry. Bad. Looking good with your Ray Bans on. Here we are in the lot, $650,000 added. Jerry Gunther has completed his lifetime wish and has gained plenty of lifetime happiness to spend. What will his next goal be? So even walking onto the place, he already had uh, fulfilled his goal. He took out an incredibly large uh, insurance policy on his home, and he wound up with $650,000. He seems incredibly excited about things, but uh, he is now moving on and uh, going to bed in the, in the middle of the yard. Now... Where you guys come into this, things have been not so great for the schnobs, admittedly. Uh, things have not been so great. There's been a lot of uh, dysfunction. But Jerry is bringing money, which actually can help things out a little bit. They're living on their yawn. They're, they're on the lawn. They were selling lamps to survive. Now with this, uh, with this money, you guys are going to be able to suggest things to build. We can actually focus next episode on making them a home. It's exciting. Also, the most normal person in the entire series, even more normal than the neighbors, has been Gregory. And Gregory has somehow, miraculously, continued uh, to keep up an A at school, despite the fact that his family is terrible. I mean, they're, they're awful. This is... You could you could call this abusive. This is completely abusive. They, they, they actually adopted a kid to get back at each other. They're terrible people. They don't even have a shower or bathroom. So Jerry's going to take care of, uh, of helping out this family in a, uh, a very good way. Uh, now, I want to read a comment, because even though we are on the road to recovery, the Sims themselves are terrible people. And, uh, they... That's not really... <laughs> that's not really something that's changing. This is from Noob Forever 98. Guinevere goes to Justine's house, starts the oven, and leaves. It's very short, very simple, but I really like it. I think uh, I think the Sims are probably. Um, what are you doing? 
Wait, isn't this the guy that was like, Hey, your party was great, but I gotta go home. He decided to stick around and to, to just play on our lawn. Oh, you really gotta pee. It's okay. What we're gonna do... You don't need to worry about that, because you can go pee on their lawn. So, uh, you need to go over here to the room... Not the roomies. Uh, do 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 There we go. Keaton. Visit Keaton household. I think actually, I think the woman's actually over here right now, isn't she? Over yeah, she's right here, isn't she? Is that her? No, that's Monica Morris. That's someone else. So we're going to, uh, we're going to let Gwyn Guinevere's in a very bad mood. I wonder why. It's because she <laughs> is missing a lot of important things that make people happy. That's very unfortunate. So she's going to, uh, she's going to go in here, um, start cooking and then leave. Which, uh, is going to lead to some interesting events. They may not even let her in, to be honest. Uh, that's a possibility, just for the fact that, uh, I mean, it's late. It's, it's 2.30 in the morning. There's, there's Marty, or not Marty, well, there's Marty, uh, the boy is, uh, Harley? Harley. Hey, I know it's, uh, 2.30 a.m., but I, I just wanted to come cook you a quick meal. If that's all right. Also, I'm probably going to pee in your house, and I haven't showered in days, and I may pass out because I'm so tired. I hope that that's okay. She seriously, this is not good shape, but I'm, I'm forcing her to do it anyway because I think it's entertaining. Hey, Guinevere, what's up? So, so. Hey, Marty, can I come in? Uh, sure. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out how to use the doors. All right, let's uh let's go ahead and pause time quickly. And uh let's get this started very very quickly. Uh hopefully she'll be able to do it. Go ahead and um serve breakfast. Serve uh I think you can afford pancakes now. Uh serve pancakes up for everyone. And uh let's see if uh, we can actually if she'll she's friends with everyone, so it shouldn't be a problem, but if she pees on their floor, it may be a problem. Oh, freaking. You are such a terrible Oh, you peed on the floor. That's, uh, that's gonna be an issue. Oh, you, s you seem really embarrassed about that. <laughs> but does that mean that she has to leave? That's, re that's really the big question on everyone's mind. Does she have to leave because she peed on the floor? I don't think she should have to leave, to be honest. Let's go back into regular time. <laughs> Marty, I'm really sorry that I peed all over your floor. It's alright. You know, it happens from time to time. Alright, so she's going to uh, cook them up some food, and then she's going to get out of there. So let's go ahead and speed this process up. Choppity chop. Man, Guinevere, you smell bad. I haven't showered in days, and I just pissed myself in your home. Alright, so now you're done. It's been fun. You're out. You can, uh, you can, uh, you can do something else. In fact, I would recommend, I would recommend le straight up leaving. Um, although I'm not sure if the stuff will continue to cook if you straight up leave. You can go brush your teeth. We'll see what happens here. I would say that Jerry is well-liked immediately, which is fantastic. But he's also fulfilled, like, his lifetime wish. So he's at the top of his game, man. He's like, everything's fantastic. Everything is wonderful. I'm going to turn this house around. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> Guinevere uh, could, not, uh, could not burn the house down. I don't know if it was just they have a too nice of an oven that it just doesn't automatically catch fire, or if that just can't happen at someone else's house. But it was not something that could uh, happen. So Guinevere is going to attempt to get to bed. Oh, something happened to our, our stuff. But wait! Jerry is handy. He is a handyman, so Jerry can take care of that. He's like, hey man, I'm playing this guitar, but I can take care of that sink, no problem. I, I've taken care of lots of sinks. Let me just mosey on over there and take care of that for you. Do ba do ba da ba ba dee boo gonna fix the sink. Cause I'm a handy man, I'm handy Jerry, I'm gonna fix a sink for you. And everyone else is, there's still people that are actually chilling here from the party, which is, uh, very odd. Wait, whoa, 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 wait, whoa, 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 you're just supposed to be handy. You're supposed, why can't you, <laughs> your sim's bladder is too full to, oh, he's too full to repair, oh, yeah, we don't have a, uh, yeah, we don't, we don't have a, we don't have a toilet, bud. That's, uh, that's gonna be kind of an issue. But as soon as you relieve yourself, feel free to get back on that sink. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Mostly used to this episode to introduce Jerry. We have a lot of money in the household now. 
Uh, the way this is going to work is for the first time you guys are going to be contributing to the building of a home. Now obviously it's a little difficult to describe in words what you want the home to look like, so we're going to be mostly focusing on key features, things that you would like to see in the home, um, mostly objects. There's a variety of objects we can live uh, luxuriously now. We have uh, a lot of money. I'm going to be spending most of next episode designing a home, and I want to get as much input from you guys textually uh, as we can, so we can build the home that should hopefully help the schnobs out. Hopefully. Now, I also want to point this out because this is very, 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 very important. This LP has been, so far, and continues to be, an experiment. Remember, I wanted to do The Sims 3 um, to kind of test the waters and see if this was possible. I had an interest in doing this for years, and I'm, finally, I'm glad that I finally jumped into it, but... This LP will be ending very, very soon. It's not a cancelled LP, but it's going to be going on hiatus for a while because I want to eventually come back to it once we have the expansion. So there's only going to be a few more episodes, but eventually we will come back to it. I just wanted to let you guys know now so it wasn't like alarming. It's like, oh, hey, the, we're going to be done soon. Uh, we're only going to have a few more episodes. Oh, you peed yourself because we don't own a toilet. <laughs> we will next episode! So we're going to spend these last few episodes focusing on the Schnobs family arc, but I want you guys to know that your Sims recommendations have not fallen to deaf ears. Uh, I have written down all of the ones that I really enjoyed every single episode, and I actually have a text file of all of the really cool creations that I thought were very clever. And uh, they are something that I, I do hope to get to uh, in the future. But for now, we are going to spend these last few episodes focusing on the Schnobs' lives and uh, how all of this kind of concludes. And uh, I've already written down a few recommendations that you guys have had for some interesting ways to conclude this. So don't fret, the LP is not over yet, and uh, it's certainly not cancelled, but we're only going to be doing a few more episodes, and then we're going to shelve it for a while. So I hope that's, uh, I hope that's okay. Anyway, with that information in mind, please recommend things you would like to see in the new household, whether they be objects or design styles, etc. If you'd even like to find pictures on the online and post links to them in the comments, I will open up the images and look at them and uh, take design ideas from them. That's no problem. Um, also, keep in mind that since we are going to be just doing a few more episodes of The Sims, any loose ties that we want to finish up between any of the characters, uh, go ahead and post those below. One final, final, final note. When we do revisit the series, we're coming back to the same save file. Just want to throw that out there now. We're not starting a new game, so things are going to still exist in this neighborhood. So don't screw everything up too bad, because we will be coming back here later on. That's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for understanding. And I'll see you guys next time for more Stephen Plays The Sims.